we on? Whoa, 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 oh whoa. my God! Uh, here. Hold on, let's do it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Roscoe's viewing party at Heart West Hollywood for Ooh. RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season Eight. Ah. Oh my God! We made it, girl. We made it. Are you guys ready for a fantastic night? Oh my God! All right, well, we're gonna drink, we're gonna watch some drag, um, we're gonna talk a lot of shit. We have uh, a lot of special guests, an yes. action packed show, but kicking things off, she hosts the Roscoe's Viewing Party with us every week in Chicago. She is our special guest host tonight and the contender for the Crown of All Stars 8. Give it up for our sister, your family member, Nisha Lopez! <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's good? Okay, there it goes. Here she goes. <laughs> okay, I'm completely sorry. I really actually have lost my voice. Yeah, she was screaming uh, at small children at DragCon today. <laughs> Facts. I really was. By small children, I mean these two bitches. <laughs> uh, but listen, uh, we are ready for this, I, like I say, shindig. Shindig? Um, are y'all ready for this shindig? Let's go. Listen, I'm so excited because for the first time ever... In Drag Race I history. Get, yes, in Drag Race history, <laughs> in history? Roscoe's history, I get to talk so much shit while watching myself on this screen. <laughs> it's um, been a long time coming. And listen, I'm not off limits either. I'm going to talk some shit about myself okay. as well. Um, but we got all kinds of tea. We got all kinds of drama. We got all kinds of guests. First guest is someone that I hold very close to my heart. Um, we come from the same little island of Puerto Rico. Yes, yes, yes. She is a super dear friend of mine, and I absolutely love and adore her. Please welcome the incomparable Miss Jessica, Jessica Wilde. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so welcome, Jessica. Oh my God. Can you scream again for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to feel like Sasha Colby, please. <laughs> like, okay. like a, a continental. Like a goddess, like a goddess. Okay, so, so you have to bear with me because when Jessica and I get together, Rapidito, rapidito empezamos a hablar español. So we start talking Spanish. And okay. So if we do that, just bear with and us. Me and me and Batty will whatnot. have the subtitles right here for everyone yeah. who doesn't, all right? We got Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So still ladies, working. please have a seat <laughs> on these beautiful. I, I, I like that you're calling me lady after 9 a.m. in drag. Yeah, nine hours. Nine hours in drag. And so, she calls me lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Yes. So we have these beautiful couches. We don't have these at Roscoe's. We have these gorgeous chairs. <laughs> um, but these are beautiful seats. Um, OK, so <laughs> it's not shade. What did you say? Well, baby, Ooh, it's Nisha Lopez. She's the queen of the shade. <laughs> Honestly, though. You said that. I am. I Honest. am. Um, OK, no, I am not. I am not. Well, baby, okay. she's a sweetheart. And I, I, I know how beautiful she is beside the, the beauty outside. She's beautiful. Very inside. Deep. That sounds so Very wrong. deep. <laughs> we forgive her because the accent is so beautiful, right? <laughs> you are more shady than her. She's like, don't lie to her. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? All right, so listen. We have a great night for you guys. We have all kinds of guests, all from All Stars 8. This is a first. I think we have how many? Six? There's like six of us. There's six. We got half the fucking cast here, guys. All right. We are going to have a lovely, lovely, lovely time. We're going to tell you our favorites are not favorites. <laughs> so favorite. Stop. Oh, so we're, at, we're being really at, honest tonight? Yes. Okay. We're being very honest tonight. Jessica, don't be trying. There is no miscongeniality this at season, all. so don't try it, bitch. You don't know, baby. You don't know if, if there's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> that, that twist, baby. We need to yeah, talk about that twist. And we are, are we excited about the fame game? Yes. 
And for those of you that don't understand, the fame game is a audience vote for your, uh, I, I don't want to say favorite. What I want to say is for the one that favorite. turns it, right? Favorite. That turns it, yeah. Because I have lots of favorite on, these, on this season, but they don't turn it. Okay. Like, <laughs> say their like, that's name. A, that's fair to say, right? Is that fair to say? You're like, I love you. You're my favorite. But you didn't turn it today, boo. Okay. Just saying, hypothetically. Is, can you say that, Jessica? Uh, hell yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. under a contract, so. <laughs> Listen, NDAs for me, I have no idea what they mean. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are ready, say hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Say hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah, bitch. All yeah. right, DJ, let's go ahead and get back to this episode. Drag. Work. Beautiful right. gowns. Beautiful yes. gowns. Yeah. So, um, obviously, I'm playing double duty as host and guest, but I'm going to let uh, Patty and Caramel take the reins on this. And I'm just going to be. So nice. Oh, my God. I'm just going to be. Serious? I'm just going to be the guest until I can't. And oh, then I we talking. love that. <laughs> yes. Bo, cut her <laughs> mic. Dead ass. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, so. just Okay, so, that was sickening, Divas. Down. Which the theme was famous then and famous now. Um, for the famous then, we had Nefertiti for you, Jessica Wilde. Was that your was that your first choice? Well, I had you know we had a, we have a short time to get ready, and I was like, I like the Hollywood glam era, but I was like, I want to be like like an Egyptian, you know? I want to go like to something that fit on me, and Nefertiti was. The good, a good choice. And Chokra, I don't know if he's here. Maybe he's in the toilet, in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I got you, girl. And, you know, I think I turn it. Your, your makeup, yes, your did. makeup, Jessica, looked absolutely beautiful. I think, so beautiful. I think because I shaved that day just <laughs> because it was, let me tell you guys, we shoot that the same, the same day. Everything, it was the same day, like, Get out of this, get, be Nefertiti, be Donatella, everything the same day. We it's went hard. through five looks in one. Oh, they said, we're five. working you girls. Oh, it was damn. two runways, it was uh, the girl group, the girl group everything. challenge, and then it was a signature runway. And all of that was all for one episode. It was absolutely insane. Yeah, I think after that episode, I was like, oh my God, we are the winners. No! <laughs> <laughs> This season is over. I'm going home. <laughs> that was a fucking whole season 14. <laughs> <laughs> it totally was. Um, Jessica, how does it feel being back on television? I mean, season two to now? <laughs> well, um, my only fans is successful. <laughs> yes. But to be back on Paramount Plus, <laughs> uh, I, I'm feeling amazing. It's like, it's not that I need it, but it's good to have like a validation and like, uh, um, like the love that this new generation is getting. I'm feeling like a brand new season 15 girl. I'm like sugar and spice at the same time. I yeah, mean, I'm feeling brand new and it was meant to happen. I, I think life um, prepared me to have that moment in my life and especially I'm from Logo TV and to be a Paramount Plus. Y'all don't even know what Logo is, bitches. You're like, what's that? Are... Okay. <laughs> okay, so when the lights flash on and off, we got to go back to the show. Oh, oh I thought I was having a I thought, thought we were going to have an apagón like yes, in Puerto yes, Rico. We have yeah. apagón all the time. <laughs> We want you Thank to enjoy you. as much content as possible, so we're gonna keep it shoot, short and cute. Let's do this. All right, very kind, very well. kind. Now, before we get back into that, it kind of cuts you short up there, Nasha. Who were you surprised to see besides Jimbo? Who am I surprised to see? Um, well, I wasn't really surprised to see anyone that the, in the sense that I was just open to seeing anyone and everyone. Um, I was super excited. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. Spill. <laughs> it's a real so, live audience tonight. So, this is what was happening. You're under a contract. I don't give a fuck. Um, so, NDA stands don't. for Nasha so Discusses this Always. Is, this is what happened. <laughs> Between us girls, you start to hear, oh bitch, they just cast this hoe on All Stars. They just cast this one. So I had heard about who was cast, right? Mm -hmm. 
because I had yet to be cast. When were you cast, Jessica? When were you cast? Uh, like three years ago before yes. the pandemic. Perfect. No, that joking. makes sense. Yeah. No, let me tell you. Yes. Um, w when I have like, like, let's go, I think it was like a month before we started like, recording the show. Oh, yeah, wow. so I got cast two weeks before I was supposed to be on set. Two weeks. I remember. I the, do you remember? I, I was remember. The last one cast. And, and so she had better outfits than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was the last one cast. So I had heard already Miss Thing here, Miss Thing there. And, you know, you start talking. And I'm like, oh, work. You're going to be on All Stars. And then I get the call. And I'm like, oh, shit. I know the entire cast. <laughs> so... Some of us knew who was going to be on. So to answer your question, I was not very surprised <laughs> because I wasn't even supposed to be on there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But in two weeks, you turned out two amazing looks that we've seen so far. Um, what was the inspiration behind both of those? Yeah, so, the Chanel uh, I live. It's the, so runway, <clears throat> the runway was uh, old fame and new fame. Something new that's famous, something old famous. And I've always uh, appreciated fashion designers They've always been famous for their work and for the way they dress. So I wanted to go with two very iconic, famous designers. I went with Coco Chanel and Versace. So that was the inspiration behind mine. They look good. Yeah, you look so good. Who made those for you? Um, the Coco Chanel was Jeffrey Kelly from Florida. And then the Versa Versace, Versace was, bitch. was Joshuan Aponte from Chicago. Down. He flashed the lights. So. And the light went on, so we're going to go back to the show. Thank you very All of much. The lights. Let's get into these girl groups. I, we're learned, not used to. I learned the rules. <laughs> Flash, shut up. So there were some take charge queens there. Yeah. So Heidi took challenge, and um, she ended up wanting to sit on the ground. I think she was a little defeated. Is that what, what, what Candy, happened? Candy I, made a valid point. I though. wish they would have showed everything because they didn't show everything. But it got to the point where she's like, she would suggest something. And we're like, yeah, that's great. But let's do this. <laughs> and then she'd be like, how about we do this? Pa, pa, pa. And we're like, that's amazing. Can you do that but hand can one we more do time? this? <laughs> yes. And, and in my and case, it was like, it's so simple. Money, success, fame, and glamour. Oh, that's too difficult. What the fuck you want? <laughs> okay, but Jessica, low-key, low-key. I mean, when you look at your group, <laughs> without, listen, with the exception of you. Don't, talk, don't, of don't you, talk about Jim. I'm not, with the exception of Lala and Jessica, because those two bitches, we know they can perform. Baby, Jessica Wilde is an escándalo, and Lala Ri is a motherfucking experience. The other ones? <laughs> Baby. They're that, beautiful. That, that's, why, that's why as a family, I was like, Gorgeous. money, sister. No, like, money, sister, but you know, like, but. <laughs> and they didn't show it, but she did all that, like, madness, like, let's do this, five, six, seven, eight. And everyone's like, <laughs> we can't do that. And he was like, let's but go we, with them. we know from these challenges, when there's a lot of choreography, it becomes too much. So. And we have a short time, to be honest. Like, yeah. uh, uh, the stress and everything, but you're going to see both groups did amazing, to be honest. Don't lie, girl. <laughs> Well, you did amazing. Lala did amazing. The other girls. Y'all see the fucking... You're going to see it. But, but sometimes if you, if you can sing, you can dance. That's why some, some of the girls, like Jimbo, she, she did a, an amazing like, verse. What is she too? <laughs> an amazing verse. But she's not a dancer. Some of them dance and sing, but shouldn't. She's so sweet about it. She's just not a dancer. <laughs> in the preparation, and she knows that. <laughs> in the preparation for it, though, um, was it harder writing the verses or the We had to write the verses, yes. Yes, we had to write the verses. And the most challenging part of it, and I don't know if this was the same for you, but they give you this music, right? And then they give you, like, this is the tempo to your lyrics. They say, 
And, and this is literally what it says. It says, da 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 fame, da 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 uh, money. Yeah. You, like, it, it gives you a tempo. So you work with that tempo. That's why I was like, me gusta la chocha de Puerto Rico. Me gusta la chocha de Puerto Rico. Me gusta, I like if, if you don't know what that means, in Puerto Rico. you don't want to know. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you don't want to learn that. We're back to the we're, show, ladies and, we're and gentlemen. Back. <laughs> Ooh, girl. <laughs> now, nice. before okay. we get into questions and all that good stuff, um, we're going to say goodbye to Jessica really quick. But before we do, Jessica did want to say something. Jessica, what? Well, I, I want to say something. Let me stand up. <laughs> Fuck this, bitch. I want to hear you scream! Ah. First, thank you so much for your love and support to me and to my sisters. You know that, like I said on the show, I'm, I'm OB, original bitch. Since my season, Roscoe's is part of my family. Like, I've been performing there for years, and I'm so proud and happy that you are here because of Roscoe's, right? Plus, because Har Weho is my family too. So thank you so much for your support. Have a good time. Y los latinos también, puñeta. Que rico! I gotta go to another viewing party that I'm not gonna tell you because I'm not gonna promote other places. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave you with the best of the best. Absolutely. And the beast. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank she, you. I'm the beauty. She, no, she knows what I look shame. like out well, of drag. Baby, <laughs> out of drag, you are lucky that I'm at a top. Heart, give it up one more time for the stunning Jessica Wilde. Jessica! I love you and so much. Neja Lopez and I, we are friends like for a long time ago. Like 20 I'm years. I'm so happy that season eight um, it was meant to happen to be together. I love you, sister. Uh, I love you so much, and I'm so excited for all of you to see the journey that we both have on this, especially Jessica. I'm so excited. Um, to, for her to be introduced to this after so many years is absolutely amazing. Give it up for Jessica Wild! Uh, I love you. Spread love. Yes, yes, yes. Te quiero mucho, mami. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to take this opportunity right now. The couch seems a little lonely, a little empty, right? Yes. Right? We should bring on some more. We should bring somebody else on stage. Let's welcome the very lovely and talented Moss System is Darian Love. Yes. yes. Work. Welcome back. Wait, wait, wait. But it doesn't end there. There's more. Give it up for There's more. Alexis this Michelle. Is the show. <laughs> yes. Have have a seat, gorgeous. Have a seat. Yes, yes. Have a seat. Make our way. Yes, gorgeous. Okay. First of all, I'll tell. How beautiful are these two queens? Oh my Hello? God. Can we, wait, can we just make some noise for the beauty of the season so far? Alexis, oh my God, you are stunting. You too, Batty. Yeah. I live. Thank you. And you, Miss Thing. I know, I just got off a 12-hour shift at Drew Paul's Drag Con, so <laughs> I'm worn out, dehydrated, and pretty much handicapped at this point, but I'm here and uh, highly intoxicated. Whoa. Gorgeous. Now, listen, we, we can't do this without you guys. Um, guys, I need you guys to show these girls some love because they were at DragCon all day. They've been up since 5, 6 a.m. in drag. Yeah. And then they came here to heart to do this. So thank you so much. We're so grateful to have you. Thank, thank you. you. I can't believe I'm finally... Finally here. I can't believe it's in this moment. Like, oh, the lights. The, the lights. lights. Okay. Turn on we're the gonna lights. we're gonna chat some more, but right now we're gonna go back to the episode. So let's go right now back. Okay. Work. First, let's do What the fuck? What yeah. this is why I am fucking baffled, bitch. 
Well, I first am. first off, great job on uh, Fame Tarts. Y'all killed that. Thank yeah. you. Yes, Thank you. that was amazing. And the runways were also very exquisite. What was your favorite part of the first day of five looks? Oh my God, the first day of five looks. Getting that info, I was like, great. Because okay. I was the fashion queen of season six. <laughs> So I was so fucking happy to do a goddamn runway show. I was like, oh my God, kill me now. And thank you for putting the reading challenge first like they normally do, where I'd win something. <laughs> Fuck, stacked against me. I'm gonna go kill myself slowly and painfully with booze. No. <laughs> Truthfully, they packed so much into those first however many days it took to film one day. Yeah. Um, they packed so much into that that at the end we sat down. Oh, Nasha! And I was like, Ooh. I was like, we didn't just start that yesterday. That was a week ago, right? I did not believe. It felt like that. It felt, it like, felt like a week. And we burned through five looks, and I said, we're gonna run out of shit at this rate. <laughs> right. I brought some more than anybody, did. so it's okay. And some girls did. did. When I went home, when I left to go. Ten large suitcases checked on the plane of what I didn't use. Oh, wow. Ten suitcases. The rest I left here to photograph later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild. Okay, so Wild. coming back, for all three of y'all, was it like getting on a bike or was this a totally new ball game? Was it? Uh, what? Turn it up, Blanche. It up, yeah, I... I... <laughs> was it like riding a bike? Oh, yeah. It was riding, it's like riding a bike downhill with no brakes. Or <laughs> lubricant. Yeah. So, um, no, yeah, you, you expect the unexpected. Anything can get thrown at you. And, yeah, it's like, you know, you, you hope it is and that, all that stuff. But, no, it's not. It's everything gets thrown at you all at once, everywhere, all at once. I felt like, I don't know about you, you know, I had this notion, oh, I know, I'm going to be okay. I've been through this. I felt like they threw so much more at, at, at us. And I felt like maybe it's being through the pandemic, maybe it's being a few years older. Bitch, that was hard. In that girl group, I'm just glad I look okay because when I tell you the pain in my feet from those goddamn stripper boots that we decided to all wear. We did, we all decided to wear boots. But I do have to say this really quick. Um, they put Darian in the bottom, right? And yeah, I, I was. To... Hold on, Darian. You were. We were in the same same group. group. So I'm gonna tell you something. Darian did not complain once. She did all the choreography. She kept up with the choreography. She got the choreography right. And I'm gonna tell you something. Darian should have never been, been in, in the, the bottom. bottom. Okay. Absolutely not. Down. Our Just group. because I didn't complain. Really? No. That no. No. You alone. kept it together. There, I will say her name. James did not carry In that. In all fairness. I yeah. thought. No, no tea. No tea. I'm sorry. Yeah. She ah! did not carry that. <laughs> did you hear it? <laughs> I, I said what I said because I saw it with my eyes. Wait. I, I'm going to tell you something really quick. This is what fucking pisses me off about this show. Speak. Darian fucks up her choreography and they tell, supposedly, and they tell her, well, you fucked it up. And then they tell James, well, you fucked up your choreography. But we loved it. The fuck does that mean? There were so many girls but walking what around is that? on that. Listen, the hypocrisy, the fucking hypocrisy. If you're gonna set standards, you hold every bitch to the same motherfucking standard. Oh, T. Hey. And no. T, 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 T. And no shade. No shade to the other group. Kasha, you were phenomenal. Jessica looked fucking unbelievable. La La Ree, unbelievable. But I thought that our group was going Should've to win yeah. and therefore all be safe. safe. Just saying. Now, I will say this. That, wait, before we go back, don't fucking turn Hurry this up. shit on. Wait, 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 wait. Kasha, listen. Kasha Davis is the only one that in that group did it right. When she did the comedy part, she fucking did it right. She fucking she did said, it. Fame, she said, fame. You, it, was, it was done, Ugh. right? The comedy, the timing, everything was absolutely on point. The other queen, I can't say the same. And this, this lady knows how to do disco. Okay, we gotta go back, we gotta go back to the show. Let's go back to the show. To some critiques, girl. Uh... And we're back. All, All right, ladies right. and gentlemen, did you guys enjoy that, yes? 
ends okay. it. Really quick, I just want to let you guys know, we, we are not going to show the first episode of Untucked because, of course, we're pressed for time. We want to show you all the guests. We want to chit-chat. We want to do all that good stuff. And we want to get into episode two yeah. and get into Untucked of episode two because fame game will happen in Untucked. Got it. Okay? Okay. So if you guys don't know fame game, you're going to vote for your favorite, all that good stuff. You'll see their runways in Untucked. Got it? Okay, yes. cool. Now, before we do, Darian, did you want to say, we're going to say bye to Darian. Darian, did you want to say anything to Hart and our Roscoe's viewers? I want to say thank you all for coming here. And also, remember, um, support the art that we do, the ACLU, the Drag Defense Fund, please. remember, It's not just here, it's everywhere. Yes, this ignorance is a disease, and we must spread the, the love and joy that is drag and the art of drag. So please support all your queens, no matter where they are in the world. Thank you. It. Give it up for Darian Lay! Yes, yes, yes. Come to DragCon and buy my merchandise. It goes up in value if I die. Yay! Push Listen, her down the stairs. Hold on. Listen, and Alexis is proof of this. This is her humor all the, all the fucking time. All time. the yes. time. Yes, it is. All so the time. Good. I absolutely love it. Give it up for Darian one more time. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll say bye to one, and we will say hello to another. Make some noise for this next drag queen that I absolutely... Drag queen? Oh, I absolutely love and adore this queen. She is everything and more. Please make some noise for the one and only Miss Kasha, Kasha Davis. Davis. Listen, Heart, Heart and Roscoe's online. This has not happened ever before. You have half the fucking cast in one night. Iconic! Oh. This is this is DragCon 2.0, bitch. Right? Absolutely. Are we having fun so far? Let me hear you guys make some noise. Yeah! Make sure you guys are drinking. The more the more you drink, the prettier we look and the All more that. fun we're gonna have, honey. Well, speaking of the cast, that lip sync was fire. We saw the judges. Idina Mazel's like, uh. Ah. Who? Idina? <laughs> what was oh, her name? Idina Menzel, girl. Uh, what did y'all think of the lip sync? Did y'all agree with um, who won? May I? Yes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Kasha literally said, yes. Uh -oh. Kasha, you ain't, listen, you ain't gonna do this to me. I, it, it's so funny because the entire cast is always like, bitch, don't get me together when I go to Roscoe's. Don't make me do or be that way. And of course, I'm gonna make them be that way. We'll just do um, it here. <laughs> so Alexis and Kasha, what did you think of the result? The bottom two, the lip sync, so do tell. I already said I didn't think my sister Arian should have been in the bottom. Um, but, and you know I live, I live, legendary performer, she is it, she is the moment. You know, I love my New York City sister, Aja, but I feel my sister, Kahana Montrese, did the assignment. I she did. agree. I agree as well. I definitely agree. Kara? Oh, yes, I agree too. Yeah, bitch, that was everything. What do you yeah, think, yeah, Kasha? Well, I mean, Darian, Darian Lake is my sister for, forever, and I don't think that she should have been in the bottom either. I agree. She was just, I mean, she really did stretch out of her comfort zone with the choreography. She looked adequate. Uh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> lovely. Wait, wait. Kasha, Kasha, yeah. let, me, let me ask you this, Beach. Kasha. Let me, and the question goes for you too, Alexis. If we were going to take Darian out of the bottom two, who would you have replaced her with? Ooh. James. Okay. Yeah, why? Well, because I was there, and you, what you saw was not what would <laughs> oh, happen. Oh, it wasn't? Not, was no. it worse? No, no. Well, yes. No, Listen. she cried. She couldn't do the choreography. She That's wanted she... to go home. She was ready to quit. I'm just saying, I was there. Bitches are sitting on the, bitches are sitting on the heard runway, it, right? not about choreography. You heard crying. it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. Come on, Wait, and Hashtag. 
Hashtag what Kasha said. Wait, right, me too. And hold on, and hold me on, too. ladies. Tell me, uh, confirm this for me if, it's, if I'm right or wrong. So what's really cool about it is that as an all-star, there's a peanut gallery. So we get to see the performance. Right. We get to watch it. We see what goes down. So when the critique don't match, don't match what we just saw, baby, yeah. baby, I have questions. I have lots of questions. Rigged, I told y'all. I, I was, I mean, Kahana, she was just swinging her wig around and wiping the floor. And I was like, I don't even know how to do half this shit. I would be so, I never learned that. But I need to learn that. I need to. They Check were fantastic, Google. and I just, I didn't. I was. If you look at me, I was like this. Yes, <laughs> your facial expressions and were weird. Yes, they were doing those splits How and death drop. That? If I do a death drop, it's gonna be literal. I mean, that's it. She's the last back time up. you see Kasha. Well, we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. No, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, are you having a good time tonight? Before we get into the episode, I want to send oh a special... Oh, my God, there's people Wait, up there's... there. Yeah, honey. Hi, people. Hi. There's a balcony Hi, up there. Word. There's Travis and Hi, Julio Queen. and Miguel You're and beautiful. Lyric. Hi. Hi. Okay, so really quick, uh, before we get into the episode, I just want to send a special shout-out to Bo and Lolita, who I had this crazy idea and called them and said... Hey, what if we do this Roscoe's on location gig? And they opened up the doors here at Heart and said, absolutely, motherfucking Lutely. So thank you to Heart. Thank you to Lolita and Bo and Paul for embracing us and letting us do this uh, shindig here. Yes, we're so grateful. Now, on that note, DJ, if we are absolutely ready, then we're going to get right into the second episode. Are we ready? Wait, wait, wait. We, I have one wait, question. Yes, yes, yes. I have yes. one question. Yes. I realize. Ask. Nisha, I did not see you one time in a confessional during no, that, you didn't. Yeah, where during were you that at? first episode. Not one time. Y'all want to know why? Were they mad? Were they mad? Okay, look, look, look. This is the thing. This is the thing. So the confessional, when you're in the confessional, they're like, well, girl, how do you feel about this? And how do you feel about that? And how did this girl do? And how did that girl do? And I'm going to tell you one thing that I am. I am motherfucking honest, baby. I will really? always be, I don't care whether you like what I'm saying or not, I will always be honest because I can't, I come from a place of love. I promise you I do. She does. And I she will does. tell you this, every single one of my confessionals, they're like, so how do you think that person did? It don't matter, James was the worst one. Now, I'll tell you, wait, I'll tell you why I do that. i tell you why I did that. Because you're not gonna change the narrative on me. I saw what I saw and I'm going to talk about what I saw. So, when that, when what I saw doesn't match the narrative. They don't want to feature. Then they can't feature me, boo. And that's what happened. And that's why I did not, I, mind you, you know, I got an NDA. So, my personal, hold on, hold on. My personal allegedly. opinion, allegedly, <laughs> I don't think they showed me because my opinions of certain people did not align with the narrative that this motherfucking show was trying to do. Oh, and, and that, that, I, that's I have a question. That's that's Ooh, we gotta so. jump okay, back in. All right, okay, we gotta go back. Let's get it. We gotta go. We gotta okay, go. But we, we don't want to discredit James. No, wait. She ah. did great, you know. Baby. Unfortunately, this just wasn't the thing. Baby, so. and I'll tell you this right now, and James will watch this. We fucking love James. She's everything. Yes. She's fucking yeah. everything. I'm not coming for her. Wait, what did you do, bitch? What did you do? Shade. You did We're... some shady shit. I know you did. <laughs> DJ, put that fucking episode okay, on. Yeah, let's go. Yes, 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 yes. Cute little first part of episode two. Yes. We got, the two. we got the reveals of the lipsticks. Yes. We got a new acting challenge. Totally. Um, on this acting challenge, Nasha. Now, we know you, 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 you... You stand your ground. You can sometimes be aggressive. Derek Barry, not me. Um, did you, why did you not fight I, harder for the role? Okay, so why are you doing that right now? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you this, uh, <laughs> you fucker. Um, <laughs> I would, do you uh, want me to hit her for you? So I'll tell you, I'll tell you basically what it is. This is, it, it, it's a strength and also a uh, hinder. I know this game. I watch this game. I've experienced this game. 
And I sit there and I say, she should have did this, she should have did that. And this is the thing, I got there and I said, if I fight for this role, it is going to amplify my performance, which means that even if it's mediocre, they're gonna make it look weak as fuck because I fought for it. And then they're gonna send my ass home is what's gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point out the fact that I'll just do whatever the fuck role comes my way, period. And so I decided to take a step back and say, you know what, Heidi, if you want it, you want it. I'm gonna do me and I'll do whatever I need to do, no matter what role that is. So I took a step back because I did not want that bullseye on the back. And bullseye, when I say that, I mean by production. Yeah. You were thinking They about are it. the fucking enemy. No, but. <laughs> so no, uh, listen, I am gonna get a phone call after this. I know I am. Actually, oh, yeah. I think my email has gone off like three times right now. <laughs> Shady. <laughs> but yeah, so basically that was my thought process. I said, you know what, Heidi, go ahead. Go for it. Take it. I'm not, I'm not doing this with no, you. I yeah. think that was very smart. I like that. Because traditionally in, this, in the show, we'll see a dance challenge or a group challenge. Then we know acting or some type of improv is, or comedy is coming next. Absolutely. And on that note, I think that's where Lala, Candy, and James were coming from. They were trying to take Darian out because they knew a challenge she was going to excel at was about to come up. Absolutely. And then, you know, of course, there was Lala reading me real fierce. Oh, I mean, my God. That was fantastic. It was, listen, it was so funny because today at <laughs> DragCon, I had this lovely statuesque eight-foot queen named Lala Ree come up to me and say, Please don't read me later. <laughs> I can I can attest. She literally said, bitch, I was watching the episode and um, I don't even remember what I said, but oh, I kind of no. read you a little bit and uh, I'm real sorry I did that because I didn't really mean to, but Nasha, you know, I'm going to be at your gig tonight and can, what can, is you all not, this? can you not read me? <laughs> why, does your, why does your Lala sound like so, Candy Muse? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, bitch, Lala, I am not going to read you. Listen, you are a winner. I win Continental, and you win a golden boot. Thank you, and good night. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I told you not to come for us. In all fairness. Bitch, you, you, knew, for us. you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. <laughs> you knew it was coming. <laughs> Uh, and I love is. you, bitch. I love you. I love you so much. We love you. On that note, we're going to take some last words from Alexis and Kasha. What can we, what, what can you expect from this season? What, what do you want to tell your audience and your fans right now? I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm staying. Yes! I'm staying. Yes! <laughs> no, Please. I have to, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm falling out right now. From these, from these ladies sitting here, from these ladies sitting here, and Darian just walked away, to every last bitch on this season, this is going to be one of the gaggiest, most legendary seasons of this show ever. Let's go. I love yes, that. yes. All of the queens on All Stars 8 are workhorse queens who are queens who have been out there proving themselves from the Vegas Strip to the Strip Mall, everywhere. <laughs> and, re no, and, and reading books to children. And reading books to children. No, and I am so proud to be a part of it because what? Drag is not a crime. Yes! It's a celebration. Ladies and Some of my fashion uh -oh. choices are criminal, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we go back to the show, I want you to make all kinds of noise and show these two beautiful entertainers all kinds of love! <laughs> Give it up for Kasha Davis and Alexis, Alexis Michelle! Michelle. <laughs> all right, DJ, let's go back to the show. Before we get into it... Down at the Hello? Bottom. Are we, oh, and we're back. Work. Yes, we had a few queens leave, but we're bringing a few more back oh, on. Oh, baby, bitch. this show ain't over. We're going to keep this going. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner of the first challenge, Miss Kahana Montres. Okay, buddy. Ah. Hey, 
Hey, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner of the first golden boot and uh -huh. Miss Congeniality, Lala Ree! <laughs> hit her, hit her. This bitch tried it. So I told her earlier that I was gonna come in a leotard with a bunch of paper bags stapled to myself. Yeah, so you really tried it, bitch. And she asked me not to. <laughs> but you had it on standby. Yes, but I did have it on standby. <laughs> Actually, it's upstairs. Um, okay, how are you ladies? Oh my God, I'm feeling good. The energy is everything in here tonight. Yeah. Heart makes some noise. Shout out to Heart We Ho, bitch. I'm having a good time here tonight with y'all. Yes, God. I have to say that even after DragCon and all the shit that all y'all fucking, because I saw a bunch of y'all asses at DragCon, that you're still here supporting the dolls and having a kiki. Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate it. Means it means everything. Hey, Amen. On that note, how are you feeling with the season right now? Are you loving it? Are you, like, what are you feeling? I mean, it's cute and whatever. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really interesting because, you know, there's a lot of elements that are going in that are being like shown. Like what? Uh, <laughs> the momentum of staying on top after I, winning I the first like, challenge. I feel like, for the most part, they're showing everything that actually happened. That happened. Sure. Yeah. Like, right. Uh -huh. so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. But you can definitely see um, some things are... Uh, are what? Manipulated? Manipulated. Rigor Morris? Touched. Edited. Touch. Edited. Blame Those it on are the good edit. words. Those are good words. Yeah. La la. la, la. Do you agree? Um, so I'm still on the show. So I ain't gonna say too much. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no. no, I am really, really enjoying the show. Yes. Like, bitch, I came in season ten. No matter what, bitch, I'm gonna have fucking fun. Yes. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm loving to see what the finished product yes. was. Absolutely, motherfucking Lily. And don't get it twisted. We'll sit here and we'll talk some shit. But we are still. Super fans of Drag Race. Yeah. Yes. We love the gig. We are grateful for the opportunity. But we can have our opinions, right? Can we? Correct. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay. Having opinions, by the way. You saw the first episode. We had Monica go home. Yes. We had split decisions. You yeah. voted for Monica to stay, I right? Did. And you voted for... Her to go. To go. <laughs> no. But here's the tea. Here's Woo! the tea. Oh, chat. I just want to know. What, yeah, tell me. The thing is, I love Monica, but I was on a team with Darian where I actually saw her put in the work. Uh-uh. But no, baby, we ain't going to build, baby, because I saw my sister <laughs> yeah. put in that hard work. It's true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So whoa, whoa, whoa. My, my whole thing is I'm going to ride with the bitch who's on my team who's going to make me look good. There you go. And for me, that was the same way. That's why I voted for Monica. I didn't know Darian. Before, I didn't know Darian before the competition. This is the first week. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I had to base off of us was Monica is on my team. Yeah. And I actually met Monica a year before Drag Race and I knew her story. So I was like, I'm not going to send this bitch home because that's my girl. So you had an alliance going into this. Well, I ain't going to say that, yeah, but <laughs> bitch, I didn't know Darian. <laughs> well, speaking of exciting things, how was it when the curtain raised and y'all see Aja LaBeja standing there? What were the thoughts that went through our oh head immediately? Oh my God, we were so excited. I mean, I was fucking shitting bricks. <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, bitch, I got to actually twirl. I was just going to do it too. And you did. And I did. I was surprised to see her in drag. But um, I'll... Hold on. You know, she's done a couple gigs, and she showed up out of the gig. Don't try it, bitch. Um, listen, you want to know what the gag was? What? The gag was, y'all saw that wig reveal, right? Yes. Was that a purposeful one? An intent? No, intentional is the word, That's right? the word, yes, ma'am. Because I'm making shit up now. Intentional. <laughs> I'm cocktailing. Uh, was it an intentional wig reveal, or was that accidental? I think it all was intentional. She knows what she's yeah. doing. That bitch is a lip sync yeah. assassin. Yeah. Clearly, she had it all planned out. She was going to send my ass home. <laughs> it was cute or whatever. <laughs> but it was definitely intentional. Did you, did you feel like you really did lose that lip sync? Or no, were you like, no, of course not. <laughs> bitch, of course not. I was feeling it. Like, bitch, I honestly, 
I did not even see her until I was watching her on TV. I was so in the moment. Committed. I was feeling my Beyonce fantasy. I wish I was just as high as her because I really would have been twirling. But yeah, I had a good time. What did you think of that lip sync, uh, Lala? Oh, bitch, the energy was in there, bitch. Like, to be there was amazing. These hoes were doing hair flips, dips, and splits and shit. We they seen ass coming out. Balls and it was the first the one. It, it was, was the first, first one. one. So yeah. we were geeked. Oh, hey, bitch, what's good? Welcome back. Oh, oh she back, bitch. Well, Welcome Alexis back to the stage. Wow. I told you I wasn't leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the doll bitch, that talked to I out. told Alexis, I said... Maybe you can have a seat, you can chill. She's like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go back to the show. Go ahead, DJ, put that shit on. <laughs> I fucking live. I'd make some noise for all the divas. Whoa. You better clap for all these hoes. Yes. All of them. Yes, 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 yes. That was such a cool challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Ooh. We're gonna ask a question. How do you think you did? Alexis? How do you think you did? I have to say that uh, Alexis and Darian, I love their fucking Jersey accents. Yeah. It was so gorge and it was so fun to watch. You're absolutely amazing. It was so much fun. And um, thank you for the shout out while you were getting ready. What did I say? <laughs> I thought you said that we were good. Or did you say you, you were worried about us? I thought we were good. No, I said we were good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I totally did. Kahana, how do you feel you did on this? Um, uh, um, I thought I did good in the moment, <laughs> uh, but we about to see. We about to see. Lala, how did you feel? Okay. You wa <laughs> Listen, oh, bitch. Lala was like, hey, what do you want? She's like, newscaster. Okay, but if you don't have that, what do you want? She's like, newscaster. newscaster I'm like, what about if you have another option? Newscaster number two. two. Bitch. So Listen, how do you feel you did? Bitch, I feel like I did a wonderful fucking job, bitch. Listen. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen. I was, let me tell y'all, I was so nervous for this challenge, because y'all know I went home on my original season for an acting challenge, so I was like, bitch, you got to go in here and slay this shit, because these hoes are going to come for you. So, bitch, I went in there, I said, fuck all this shit, I'm about to have fun, and girl, yeah. Heidi, Heidi and Kahana, Heidi and Kahana were good energy to feed off of, nice shit, she was all right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Drag her. No, I just playing. No, I just playing. No, Nasha and J and J J James. Yeah, James and James were really good too. <laughs> no, I love James. Me and James got really, really close. I don't know if y'all saw us like on the first episode talking this shit, but that's my baby right there. Stop lying, bitch. You a motherfucking lie. <laughs> she said we really, really close. She didn't even know her name. Um, <laughs> I, I smoke weed from time to time, bitch. I forget. It's okay. Shit. Okay, so with this challenge, it's a SNL challenge, so we actually got a teleprompter, and you could read from it and all of that. So did you guys find that to be challenging or helpful? I thought it was helpful, bitch. I didn't have to remember no lines, so I enjoyed the teleprompter. For me, it didn't matter. I was struggling regardless. I said whether I know these lines or whether I can see them, I'm still going to fuck this up. But Kahana... Can we just say, Kahana Montrese committed to pussy. She did. And you looked. I said, if there's one thing I could do, is that sell pussy. And you looked <laughs> too over. <laughs> Sickening. It was can we make some noise for pussy? Please. <laughs> we, we love that, especially when you sell it. We, we, she got a client. Especially when you're hey, selling so. it, girl. <laughs> we, so I did notice that Lala, Heidi, and Kasha were in multiple scenes. Did y'all get to see each other um, do those? As it uh, was happening? You yeah, go as for it was Lala? happening. Oh, no, we didn't get to see it. Uh, we, we saw it afterwards. Once some of them. Like, for example, they they if they were... Yeah, we did, we did get to see them afterward. We got to see everything, like, put together. But not while each group was filming? No. Oh. They had to show us because we had to... Feed off of it. Yeah. How many times did you go. have to do it? Oh, it was one time. Oh, it was, it was one, time. one time. Now, yeah. we, did, we did, like, do, like, a run-through, 
but that wasn't taped. That was it. But it was just like, oh, baby, that run, was taped, right? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it was just a run through, so we can get an idea of like the teleprompter, where to look, and stuff like that. But it really was one take, yeah. except for some people. Oh. Say their names. Okay. Say their, their names. names. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Muse, <laughs> Candy Muse. Can okay, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll she tell you this right now. She did have a really hard Listen, time, though. So we were backstage, right? And it was supposed to be one take, one motherfucking take. It right? They said it from That's the beginning. That's what they said. The rule was one motherfucking take. And we were in the back where we usually line up for the runway. And she did her part on the main stage because that's where her thing was, because she's the host, blah, blah, blah. And she started, and she, halfway through the monologue, they're like, oh, wait, 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 Candy, stop. Let's try that again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'm like, I thought it was one take. Now, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. One take, two takes, five takes. Candy is a sickening motherfucker. And she had she, the hardest part. Baby, she had it right the first time. She so did. I'm not trying to say... Oh, bitch, she had an advantage. Oh, she tried it. She did have more takes. However, <laughs> the bitch is sickening, and Child she turned it. it, and it didn't matter whether it was one take or five. She fucking turned it. And on that note, we got to go back to the show. Yeah. That, that was a fantastic runway. Yeah, one of my favorites. All right. Let's talk about our favorites. La la! Thank you. Kahana, too, baby. Let's talk about our favorites, yes. other than yours. Right. Um, I loved Jimbo's look yeah. the most. Like, the thought into that, like, the internet bitch with all these, whatever she had going on, that was amazing to me. Um, it was quite a few, but Jimbo was my favorite, the top favorite. Kahana. Alexis, who was your favorite, Alexis? Kahana Montrees. <laughs> who was your favorite, boo? Ooh, probably Jimbo, because it was so unexpected. It was. Totally. I, I clearly thought net. I wasn't thinking anything other than what the actual challenge yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did think people would do the internet, just saying. I didn't think it was so okay. unexpected. I never thought of that. I, on that same note, uh, Joshua Ponte, my designer, was like, because, by the way, we have to give credit to these designers yes, because, absolutely. Yes. listen, we call them with ideas and we say, and we want to do this, we want to do that, and they say, how about this? How about that? And uh, uh, my friend Bruin is here. Bruin stones all my shit. I love you, Bruin. He's over there, back there. Uh, Joshuana Ponte, he actually told me, he said, why don't we do internet? And I said, do you know how many of these holes are going to do internet? And I was surprised. I thought that it was going to be like, Four or five girls were gonna do internet. Everyone probably and thought it was gonna be obvious. Yes, and did yes, not. yes. Because all of us, and correct me if I'm wrong, but all of us, every time we get a runway, we try to think outside of the yeah. box, yeah. right? And then we try to play with words, right? So it's net gala. Okay, how do we do net, but not really make it net? And the first thing that comes to mind is internet. And we thought about that, and we're like, we. We, why is what? Why is that Jimbo? She did. She, 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 gave, she gave Jimbo, Jimbo praise. She gave them praise. What, I'm she, sorry, what's the question? She said, why did you attack Jimbo? And she Oh, wasn't. why did I attack Jimbo? Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, wait, ho hold on, hold on. Oh, here we go. Hold on. This is what you did. Listen, <laughs> listen. You if, you, if you haven't seen my viewing party, these motherfuckers are my favorite. Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this right now. 
How did you think that this was an attack, baby? Because right now, I am praising someone for their creativity, just like every single person up here is creative. So don't come for me, because I didn't come for her. So don't even try it, baby. Oh, what? Oh, no, this is, this is not a call I'm response. sorry, what? And you'll say this. Actually, what you will do is you'll say something, but it'll fall on deaf ears, because I don't give a fuck. And now, you're under attack. Now, on that note, we will move on. Yes. Well, to bring it back to the, to the challenge in the runway. <laughs> Someone who did give a fuck was Darian Lake. She really, she really like nailed it for me because no one did basketball net. I thought it was very creative. That was love. There could have been a little room of improvement for me, but she ate that shit. She really did, and the camp behind it Everything. was so cute. It was so cute. The way she was like playing basketball, I thought it was everything. I thought it was everything. Um, did we have any, any of them that were not our favorite? That's what we call we don't like. <laughs> what, what, we have, was it, what was an up to par for the All-Stars runway? Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's, let's not get into what we didn't like. Yeah. Because we're in a positive place here. <laughs> oh. Really? So what we're gonna do we is I think she was celebrate every single one of these runways. Yes. And what we're gonna do is get back to this motherfucking show. <laughs> DJ, put that shit back on. For Jimbo, our top yes. all-star of the week. Yes, unfortunately, Absolutely. they're gonna lose that lip sync. We know that much. Have they won a lip sync anytime what? they won on UK? No, no, so I don't see it happening. I mean, they may get a song that caters to them. I just personally. I was just going to say, you never know. It might be like girls just want to have fun or some shit like that. For me, personally? Personally? I don't see it. How do we feel about these judges' critiques? Okay, I'll start. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Nisha, how do you feel? Okay, this is what pisses me off the most. I said it earlier. And I, I feel like you have to hold every girl to the same standard, right? And I, I kept hearing with a certain queen, it was like, this looks so horrible, but I loved it. And I could not understand that concept. I really could not understand that concept. And then I had, this is the thing, and I don't mean this in any way offensive to my sisters because all of our drag aesthetic is very different. And I'll tell you this, I cannot do what La La Ree does, but guess what? La La Ree cannot do what I do, okay? And I'm gonna tell you this right now, it pisses me off when someone on the runway says, it's just not enough. And it pissed me off because when I sat there and I looked at everyone on this runway and I said, I, you're, you're telling me that I'm not enough, but what I am serving right now, they cannot serve you. Do you get what I, with the exception of this bitch right I'm here. Say, because on. this bitch, is- Bitch, I get the same body, honey. We're, we're, this bitch, we went we got, to the same, the doctor. same doctor. Same doctor. We same went to the same motherfucking doctor. And the same time. And on the same corner. But, Stay out but, my corner, But home. what I mean by that, what I mean by that, and I don't, wanna, I don't want you to misconstrue, wait, and I don't want you to misconstrue what I'm trying to say, but, my drag aesthetic and her drag aesthetic, which is the same. We serve the same drag aesthetic. It is valid and it is enough. It is enough. And I don't always have to make you fucking laugh. My drag is not funny. I want you to look at my drag and I want you to go on a journey and love the femininity and love the beauty and love the sex that I'm serving. That's what I want you to get on. I'm not trying to make you laugh. Are you trying to make motherfuckers laugh? Because I don't think you're trying to make anybody laugh. No, baby, laugh. I'm a goddess. Goddess don't make you laugh. Goddess make you feel the fantasy, honey. And listen, and listen, I just feel like sometimes our, our drag, our aesthetic is just like, frown, not even frowned upon, but like, not enough. And to hear that on the runway, it pissed me off. Because I know so many people that have 
this, that serve the same drag aesthetic, that do the same thing that I do, yeah. that you do, yeah. that Lala do, and they need to know that your drag is motherfucking valid. valid. Yeah. And it's not a motherfucking joke. It doesn't always have to be a joke. And that was kind of my issue with the critiques. In those moments. Yes, yeah. at that moment. Do you feel that there maybe have been some sort of favoritism? Any, any of you girls, not just Nasha. Yeah, listen, any of you. I mean, not just, listen, not just listen. Up, up till now. No, that, absolutely, absolutely. I want everyone to answer this question. Up to your discretion. <laughs> um, do you feel someone was favorited in No, this? bitch, I asked you first. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, listen, I will answer the question. And because I do have an NDA, I'm going to... Start it like this. I don't even know what that means, but I'll start it like <laughs> oh this. Nasha discusses always. In my personal opinion. Uh, allegedly, I like that too. That's great. Um, allegedly. Um, <laughs> oh, I am. Okay, I am very... Look, look at our managers my, my, over here. Listen, like, my manager looked at me and said, Wait, what the fuck are you still talking about, boo? No, we're what, not. What don't is give going attention. on here? Don't you give are still trying it. You what? He said plead it, the fifth. Speak the f Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Oh, okay. Listen, I, and you're right. I don't want to incriminate myself. I don't want to say certain things. But this is the thing. What did I tell you guys in the beginning? I'm an honest person. I will always express my true feelings and my opinion. My sisters right now are like, Nisha, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Carry on, sister. Carry on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Listen. Don't gonna, do it. I I'm want gonna, you to be able I, to work. I, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. I had, I had a conversation with a producer um, before this. And I did. And this producer, and he watches this, so he's going to hear this. And he literally told me, Nisha, think about your next job. Now, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I wholeheartedly believe in my talent. I believe I, I moved to Los Angeles to do lots of beautiful things. And I don't... Hold on. And I am not going to let someone threaten threaten me with work and say, think about your next job before you talk. I'm not going to do that. Now, with that said, because I love my sisters and I love Drag Race, I am going to respect the show. And I am going to tell you this right now. We all know that this is a heavily produced show, period, point blank. Now... That is what I signed up for. I did sign up for that. I did. And I'll tell you this. I respect it. It just so happens that it didn't work in my favor. And that's okay. Because I didn't need the show and before this. Back. And I will not need the show after this. And, and I don't give back. a motherfucking fuck. And with that said, with that said, with that said, I love you girls. I don't want to be that way. But you know what I mean, girl. Let's you know find I mean. out who this lip sync assassin find out is. Who's in the bottom? Who lip sync? Let's do the whole gig. Bitch. Lopez, you are and will always be my an superstar. All -star. You're leaving us tonight, but the fame games have just begun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Super disappointed. I came here to perform and shine, and I want to continue to compete with my sisters. But I'm just really happy that I got to be a part of it, and I got a platform to do what I love to do. I will be forever grateful. I'll keep it going for our sister, Nisha Lopez. Yes. I want to give. I, I just. I want to give her one second to breathe. 
I, as a friend of Nisha and a co-worker, we started this journey together. We have been friends before. I am so proud of you. And this does not define you. You are and will always continue to be amazing. Unfortunately, we won't have time for Untucked. You can watch that on Paramount Plus, but Nisha. <laughs> Is there Good. anything else you want to say, Diva? Or Alexis, go ahead, Diva. I'm going to let Nature speak in a second. I just want to say, on behalf of all of us, you are one of the greatest queens in the entire world. Very few opinions of this cast mattered as much to all of us as Nature Lopez, because she is an authority on the art of drag. And Nisha, as you were speaking about before, it's a tough pill to swallow that whatever way the wind blows is the way this show can land. And that's no tea on the show. The show is beautiful. But it's ever-changing. It's ever-evolving. And that does not change the singular, legendary artist that is Nisha Lopez. I want y'all to get on your motherfucking feet. Get up and clap for my goddamn sister. Absolutely. fucking lootly Thank you, Hart Weho, for joining us here at the Roscoe's Viewing Party premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 8. Thank you to our YouTube Thank viewers. Thank you, yes. YouTube! Wait, we love and hold you. on. YouTube, if you have not fucking pushed that subscribe button, you better fucking Hit that bell subscribe. icon. Um, really, really, really quick. Um, I just ha <laughs> I got it, you got it. it. Um, it, it's, it's just seeing it all over again. It just makes you so emotional. You relive it. And I had so many people. I have Roscoe's. I have my best friends over there, over oh, there, God. and over there, and Auntie, and all of you, and Tay. And I had so many, uh, Travis, Julio. I had so many people that were rooting for me and when you do something like this you feel like you've disappointed them and uh, wait 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 and and I will tell you I will tell you this I I don't feel like I have disappointed them I I I listen it's a show it's TV it is what it is I love you guys so much I hope that I made all of you very proud You did bitch And, and with, with, with that said, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, vote for me for fame game. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not doing that stupid shit. I'm not going to do it. But what I am going to tell you is to vote honestly. And if you vote honestly, you will be voting for me, motherfucker. Because... I will, I will tell you this, I will tell you this, and if they deny it, they're fucking liars. Every single one of these bitches said, we're glad you went home, bitch, because we saw your runways, bitch. We saw them. I promise you, I will turn those motherfucking runways out, and I hope to be your motherfucking fame game winner, bitch. And, yes! and, oh. And on that note. Yes. <laughs> and on, on that, that note, note, let's say good night. I will be performing in a few minutes. We're going to have my good, dear Judy, my love, Miss Sasha. Love all the way from Chicago. She'll be doing a number as well. I'll be performing. Don't go anywhere because Club Poppy is going on. So don't go anywhere. Going to have a kiki. I love you guys. My name is Nation Lopez. My name is Patty Davis. I'm Caramel DeVille. And this was Roscoe's at Heart. Have a good night. Yay! Yes, Heart West Hollywood. Give it up for the divas of Roscoe's Chicago and your cast of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 8. Give them all a round of applause.